Parker Aloti, acting head of the Ghana Mission to South Africa. Good morning to you, sir. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning and good morning to your listeners. What role did President Atta Mills play in West Africa in promoting Ghana's democracy? Uh, first of all, uh, Ghana believes in good neighborliness because this is the way to ensure peace and development. So he f tried to foster very close and warm relations with all our neighboring countries. He visited uh, Togo, he's been to Cote d'Ivoire, he's been involved in the peace processes in uh, Cote d'Ivoire, which has led to uh, the present uh, a better situation in that country. He's, he's uh, been working closely with his uh, neighbor, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the president of Burkina Faso, He's also been working very, very closely with uh, the president of Nigeria. And in fact, uh, at the time of his death, he was um, uh, expected to go for further consultations with his Nigerian counterpart. So he's been working uh, on peace issues within the sub-region. Uh, secondly, um, he believed that uh, development was very, very necessary to enhance the standard of living of the people in West Africa. And so he spent a lot of his time pushing in, in, intra-West African trade. Uh, he, he tried to resolve uh, with his colleagues all impediments to uh, increase trade between Ghana and uh, our neighbors, and also generally uh, to improve trade within the sub-region. Uh, sub yeah. Now, Ghana recently joined the ranks of the world's large-scale oil producers. How influential was President Atta Mills in developing the country's economy? Well, uh, when oil was found, it was first pumped under his watch, under his regime. And uh, he wanted to make sure that oil did not become a curse for Ghana, uh, as had happened elsewhere. So he spent a lot of time studying models of uh, oil laws in different countries, the different regimes, and how uh, the laws uh, dealt with the uh, distribution of oil revenue. He uh, looked at so many models, but finally crafted Ghana's laws with the aid of parliament uh, based on two models, uh, the model of Trinidad and Tobago and also the model of Norway. And uh, the, the, these laws we call the petroleum uh, revenue management law. They dealt also with uh, three aspects. One, not only the use of the revenue now, but also the creation of a fund uh, into which excess revenue would be put for future uh, so that when there are external shocks to the economy or there are uh, issues which come up and you need revenue, you have a ready fund on which you would rely. And then also uh, the laws insisted on local content so that certain aspects or certain services connected with the oil industry will be procured locally. And also whatever could be procured uh, uh, within the country by way of uh, equipment or experts and so on would be procured locally. Now, what can you tell us about the Ghanaian interim president, John uh, Dramani Mahama? Is he expected to continue uh, with the work of President Atta Mills or can there be significant change uh, expected as he takes over? Well, I believe that uh, 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 the, president, the present president, uh, His Excellency John Dramana, Dramani Mahama, will continue the legacy of uh, President Mills in the economic sphere. This is because he was the chairman of the economic management team of uh, President Mills for a long time. And uh, the, he also worked very closely with the, the late leader uh, on all the economic issues. Uh, he himself, uh, uh, that's uh, His Excellency John Draman, Dramani Mahama, uh, has been uh, a very close uh, member of the NDC um, economic team. And uh, all these things uh, show that he went quite in tandem with the late president. And I don't expect that there will be significant departure in terms of the management of the economy. They share mm. the same philosophy and they share the, um, similar views on, on the way forward. Just talk a little bit about the illness that uh, uh, the late President Atta Mills experienced before his passing on. What actually happened? Well, uh, we all know that he's not been well. Um, he's uh, had some challenges. Uh, but in West Africa, generally, we do not believe in putting in the public domain somebody's personal health. We believe it's a matter for the family and for himself. And so we didn't want to dwell on discussions uh, relating to his health challenges. Yeah.
The U.S. President Barack Obama hailed President Mills as a strong advocate for human rights, a, a tireless champion of his people. Is that one of the legacies that he leaves for the country? Certainly, his human rights record was very good. In fact, uh, if you see the latest Amnesty International report on Ghana, it speaks about an improved human rights record, although it still had some uh, challenges with regards to ECOSOC rights, economic, social, and cultural rights. But of course, these things are dependent on resources, availability of resources, that's ECOSOC rights. And uh, as long as the ACID test is there, that there hasn't been retrogression in terms of the realization of these rights, we depend on pro, uh, you know, uh, availability of resources. As I said, they have to be realized progressively. As long as there haven't been retrogression, uh, generally it's not taken as a, 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 a worsening of the human rights situation. All right. Okay, thank you very much for joining us this morning. His Excellency Sylvester Parker Aloji is the acting head of the Ghana Mission to the Republic of South Africa. Talking about